Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today we will see how to configure the Aviva configurator and make the Aviva licensing activation by either offline or online. Let's open the configurator. Here you have common platform, industrial graphics, the historian and Aviva enterprise and Aviva system monitor. Here first we will configure the Aviva historian and after that select the common platform in the system management server select this machine is system management console ser server it should be one server management server in the topology and it will take little bit time to configure this because it will configure the http https and the ports everything once it's generated you can see the series, uh, key of that uh, server you can use this one for the another uh, client's uh, PCs and also you can configure the authentication and license mode after that go to Aviva license platform and configure that one also once you configured close this exit this uh, configurator and if you need to restart restart otherwise you can give restart later and uh, go to windows from here you can search for Aviva because the, in the Aviva you have many options configure you can see the same configurators everything in the enterprise license manager double click this one and you can find server here add the license and you can browse in the left side and go to the particular place where you keep the XML file once you find that XML file, double click the XML file, it will automatically, it will appear how many license you have. Select the which license you need here and give activate. Because if you give activate, if it is online, it will activate immediately. But our case will go now offline activation. And go to server and click again add the license for the same. Activate. See now it will go to off. Uh, offline activate in the left side right side from here you can give request it will ask you to request yes once you give request it will give you one synchronized file yes and by synchronized file send file this file you need to copy and you need to go to uh, windows explorer or google chrome or anywhere because this file you need to request file you need to send to Aviva cloud after that it will be give another one file okay this file you need to be activate in your uh, enterprise license manager so for our case now just I will go to the browser and search for activation licenseactivation.wonderware.com this will be available in Aviva website also and also in the help file you can find the same website name licenseactivation.wonderware.com if you enter here it will be open the uh, browse here like you need to choose your file see after you uh, choose the file you need to enter the text what it's mentioned in the downside once you entered upload the file it will once you give upload it will give one receive file from the cloud server from the license server from Aviva and see here receive activation or deactivation select that file see once you select the file it will be automatically activated okay this is the st step how to make offline activation now I will go again with another license with online activation again I will click the enterprise license manager see now again I am going to add here now I am going to add in now online activation see now I am just selecting the file license file again see once I selected I need now I am going to make the unlimited development license directly from the online activation select the file
and Q activate. Once you give the activation button, it will be automatically activated from the cloud service directly. See now this license is automatically activated. So this is the procedure you need to follow for from Aviva 2017 up to now. So if you someone it's required, please share this one to them. Thank you.